Grow up to be a hero and a royal. A Jewish queen. She has a whole book about her. Got a lot farther by working a lot harder. By being a lot smarter. By being a self-starter. Became queen. Her life should have been easy, but got harder. At a pageant, while girls were given singing and dancing a whirl, the king looked around, saw Esther, what a girl! Inside he was longing for someone to be his true love. Esther was hopeful she found something to be part of. Then Haman came, and devastation reigned. The queen saw her future drip dripping down the drain. Needed to be brave, and after fasting, then she came to the king, where she begged him to use his brain. Well, the world got around. They said this queen is so great, man. Put her life on the line to save all the Jews without a plan. Got her education, didn't forget from when she came, and the world's gonna know her name. What's your name? Esther, Queen of Shushan. My name is Esther, Queen of Shushan. I am a woman you can depend on. Just you wait, just you wait. And she was young, her parents died. She was sad to be sure, so sad. In fact, her life became uncertain, insecure, so scared. Wondering what would be, who would help her. And Esther's uncle Mordecai came to her rescue. Moved in with her uncle, the uncle embraced her like his own. Raised her with lots of Jewish pride. So Started working, thinking of a way to save the Jews. Needed to see her husband, it was clear what she should do. Fasting for three long days and praying to our God. Planning for the future, see her now as she comes on from stage left. Getting ready for the scene. In Shushan, you can't be the new queen. Shushan, you can't judge you Shushan, you can't judge you So, 
So, a long time ago, there was a king named Akashverosh, and he had a queen named Vashti. They lived together in Shushan in a grand palace. And the king was having a party for 180 days. And the, the Rabbi, Rabbi oh. Bitten. Yes? Why aren't you rapping? Rapping? I don't rap. You know I don't rap. That's why I'm the narrator. You know how long I've been wanting to do this spiel. I just want it to be done right. And if you just talk instead of rap, it will just take the audience right out of the moment. This Hamilton is after all, it's even, even the narration should be rapped. I don't rap. Well, I suggest you go try to figure something out in the next few songs before you do any more narrating. But then, who's going to tell the audience what's going on? I'll tell you what, for this transition, I'll do it. Now just sit down. Get ready and figure this out. What a fiasco. You know, it's something like this. Um, you know, Valerie, can you get Ben a pen and some paper, yeah, please? Yeah, on it. Right. Something like this. So the king and his friends had a massive party. The men were all there, and they party, party. 180 days went on, the shindig went on, until they got bored, and the fun was on. Then brainstorming what they could do next. Vashti dancing hit all the specs. So they made men went to Vashti's quarter to present their request as king ordered. See, is that so hard? <laughs> hear ye, hear ye, my name is Melbon the eunuch, and I present the demand of your king and husband, King Ahasuerus. Vashti, your presence, it has been commanded to come and dance before the king. Holy cow, such chutzpah. You see, we are quite bored and need entertainment. We chose you to come dance for us. You'd better come with me right now. Uh, no way. <laughs> You're playing a dangerous game. I pray the king shows you his mercy. For shame. For shame. Yep. Must be your presence. It has been no way coming into your to come and dance before the king. It's hard to listen to you with a straight face. You Honestly, see, we're having a really nice time, and you shouldn't even talk. But what about respect? I deserve it all. Because I'm queen, gosh darn it. You better come with me right now. Stand there acting holier than thou. You're playing a dangerous but game. Strangely, it's you who's to blame. I pray the king shows you his mercy. Think I'll curtsy? For shame. I will not be dancing. For shame. I will not be dancing. Vashti. Repeat yourself again. I'm gonna scream. Memnon, look at me. Please don't read. To come and dance for us. Don't barge in here and demand something so rude for me. Why should a tiny excuse of a man get to have control over me? Vashti, please. Then come on, please. I'd rather be self-respecting than having your mind. Give me a break. This is a message from the king. 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 You say. You won't dance for me, and that's something that I won't accept. You whine and say we're all drunk and unshowered and mostly unkept. Why so rude? Remember that I am the king and you do what I say. Now you're making me mad. Remember despite what you might think, I'm in charge. You're banished. See, you'll remember that I am the king. You're banished. Out you go. Go and find yourself another bow. Oceans rise, empires fall. I do not want to see you at all. Cause when push, came to shove, you completely disrespected me, and it's you I want to get rid of. Da 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 You say that we are too drunk and you won't do
banish Like I said, no longer are we to be wed There's no love, you'll be gone It's about time for you to get on When you're gone, I'll be glad So go find yourself another path Cause when push came to shove I won't miss you or your family and you were never my true love. Da 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 da
I may not live for this whole story. I may not live for this whole story. But I've seen wonders great and small. I've seen wonders great and small. Cause if the king can vanish Vashti, if I can sh 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 can vanish Vashti, there's hope for our lives after all. Raise a glass to freedom! Yay! It's something you have finally seen again. No matter what they tell you, let's have another round tonight. Uh, raise a glass to all of us. Woo! To the newly bachelor of us. Woo! We'll tell the story of tonight. Let's have another round. Well, if it isn't Haman Burr, sir. I didn't think you'd make it to be sure. Burr. I'm paying to plant, make plan of action. Sugar, Burr. I see the whole gang is here. You are the worst, Burr. Ignore them. What do you mean, plan of action? I was planning on self-isolating and wallowing in self-pity. No, you shouldn't. Yes, I will. Now, now be sensible. Because what you've seen, the uns can be seen as apprehensible. We've, We've heard you've, you've got, got such, such a big and bright mind, Burr. Is that so? Why, Why don't, don't you go, go high, Burr? I should go. No, these guys should go. No, wait, Leave what? us alone. Oh, it's all right, on, Burr. Man. I wish you'd stood up for yourself tonight, Burr. You're very kind, but you're trying to distract me, sir. What do you mean? Try a pageant. Pageant? You need to find yourself a new wife. Oh, man. Get to work, aha, sparrows. You need a queen. Maybe this time try to be less mean. I never understand you. You claim to support me, but you don't. How is this my fault? Maybe this time try to be less mean. Maybe this time I'll try to be less mean. <clears throat> Many women from all over the country wanted to be queen. Record <laughs> numbers of women signed up to be in the pageant determined that his niece would become queen, Mordecai ran and told Esther about the contest. However, Esther did not love the idea. She did not think a contest was an auspicious beginning to a marriage. Irregardless, Mordecai and her friends tried to convince her. Rabbi Ben, what the heck was that? That was an acrostic poem. I took each letter from Mordecai and turned the name into an acrostic. See? It's still not rapping, and irregardless isn't even a word. It is! I googled it. Logophiles don't really love it because it's kind of a double negative, but it is a legit word. And I needed an I for the last letter in Mordecai. What the heck is a logophile? It's a lover of words, kind of like a sesquipedalian person. <laughs> oh, you're killing me, Smalls. Fine, I'll try something new for the next transition. There's nothing that I love more than going downtown and hearing gossip by a door. They hang out on the corner of the block, and I'm down there all the time just to hear them talk. Take Ahasuerus, she banished Vashti. Uh-huh, and little do you know that he's having a pageant at the palace in Chushan, looking at the ladies just to see if he can find the queen. queen. Come on, Esther! Queen, queen, Esther! Yeah, Esther, you could be the queen. Come on, Esther! Esther! Esther, queen! Like I said, it's to decide, but you should try, you should try. The search for a queen is happening in Shushan. Queen found out that he banished Foshti. She said no to what he said. She found out that he's kind of nasty. So now Foshti's not bad. Look around, look around. Who would be the perfect one to be our queen? Wash your face and put on something pretty. Excuse me, guys. You know it's not funny. It just said you stinks and I don't need the money. Push me to try this fancy heel to try and marry a man with questionable ideals. Esther, we discussed this. We have this. not discussed this. I'm 
your uncle, sweetheart, you will not miss. I've been reading the Tanakh and I found lots of lessons about taking the higher ground. I think that you should do this and I know you are scared, so you just need to be prepared. Look deep inside and find all your talents and take a nice big deep breath. And when you arrive at the palace, I am sure you will discover your predestined path. Queen! You should try, you should try, you'd be lucky if you became the queen right now. You should try, you should try, you'd be lucky if you became the queen right now. A holiday could be made right here in Shushan, and it just happens to be the greatest city in the world. The greatest city in the world. I've been reading the Tanakh, and I found lots of lessons about taking them higher your ground. I don't think you should do this, and I know you are scared, so you just need to be prepared. The deep inside. There was a young woman from Shushan, and she put her nicest of clothes on. To a pageant she went with her uncle well meant to become the queen of all Shushan. <coughs> um, Ramadan? Yeah. That's a limerick. Yep, and a pretty good one too. It told everything that everybody needed to know, and that Esther's going to be in the pageant and try to be the queen. Yeah, but, sir. She's okay. trying to tell you that wasn't rapping. Yeah, what he said. You're really being stubborn about this. I don't rap. Why is that so hard to understand? Have you tried? Like, have you really tried? It doesn't fit my aesthetic. Ooh, your aesthetic. You're not a Gen Zer. You can't use words like that. Look. Esther is at the contest with a bunch of other women vying for the king's hand in marriage. The competition is intense. That's all you need to know. Geez, why do I need to wrap that? Well, probably because it, it's going to be a problem, and if Tara doesn't interrupt me right here, I'll keep talking. Because <laughs> it's Hamilton, and you just do, okay? Th yeah, that. Fine. I'll try something else next time. Irregardless, I present to you the pageant to find a new queen. I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. You should definitely shoot me. I'm young, graceful, and pretty, and I'm not throwing away my shot. shot. I am not a scholarship to King's College. I'm a shooting crack, but dang, I'm amazed and astonished. Let's be honest, I have lots of brains and I'm smallish. Don't need to holler to be heard with every word a drop now. I am a diamond to be sure, a sign of true beauty. Trying to reach my goal, my stunning beauty, unbeatable. A doctor case only wear for sure. This Shushan beauty loves wearing her furs. Every angle and every lovely curve, I'm only here to serve. I will never insult, never be difficult. My plan is to spam the spark into a flame. So um, let me, let's be real, they're lame. I am so L-O-V-E-L-Y, um, E-R. We can have some fun. Essentially. Couple who live so brilliantly and enjoys each other's company endlessly. Essentially, I'm here because someone told me I've got a shot to get this thing done and win the contest. I mean, I prepared a ton so I could really be the ruling queen of you shot. Me, me, I say enthusiastically. Don't be shocked when you see me in history books. Here I am in all my resplendency. Eventually you'll see my descendants. I'm not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. You should definitely choose me. I'm young, grateful, and pretty, and I'm not throwing away my shot. I'm not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. You should definitely choose me. I'm young, grateful, and pretty, and I'm not throwing away my shot.
would have a contest in order to find a new wife. A chore, or at least what I thought till I saw you walk in through the door. I'm so glad. I really thought that there'd be no chance of finding a bride. Yet I see here you are. And I'll say this has turned out quite well, and you're the best choice by far. What comes next? You're the queen, you'll have everything you ever need. You're on the throne. Awesome, wow. I've got to tell you what happens now. Oceans rise, empires fall. You'll have everything you want and more. We're a team, you and me. You'll live a rich and palatial life of a wealthy Shushan queen. Da 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 Alas, the evil that men do when they are unabashedly miserable at their work. Alas, the evil that men do when they feel taken advantage of and lost. Alas, the evil that men do when they plan to kill the king. Rabbi, what was that? Um, that's called free verse. It's a poetry that doesn't have to rhyme. Rabbi Ben. Yes, fella. I think you're sorry to make Terry really, really mad. <laughs> that is fine. And what are the Purim stories, that part announcing? The part where the guards plan to kill the king? Correct! After Esther becomes queen, Mordecai gets the job of guarding the front gate of the palace, and he overhears two guards plotting to kill the king. Surely, surely you could have wrapped that. There were two guards at the front gate, and in their hearts and minds were filled with hate. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Let's hear what the villainous guards have to say. <clears throat> couple of underpaid guards in need of a shower somehow defeat a king with so much power. How do we emerge victorious from the quagmire leaves us crummy job and have positions that are higher? Yo, I think we have a secret weapon. Our intellect is off the charts and we're prepared to step in. We're constantly confusing, confounding all of his henchmen. What do you say we kill the kings? We can live our lives like gentlemen. Kill the kings? We hang swords by the reins and go after him like a hurricane. Kill the kings. I'm never gonna stop to make him stop being such a horrible person. Kill the kings. The only way to do that is to just get rid of him. Kill the kings. I think it's gonna be fun. Kill the kings. We could be someone. He just sucks and we know what must be done. We rendezvous late at night and sneak into his home. We can end his miserable life with ninja-like speed, but for this to succeed, there's something else we need. I know, we need a plan. When you think of what to do before it starts his coup, I mean, Kill the king. We'll come up with a plan eventually, cause it's just as two, I mean. Kill the king. No one has more resilience or matches our practical, tactical brilliance. Kill the king. You wanna fight for our lives, Kill the king. Let's plan a sneak attack. Let's plan a sneak attack. You know we're gonna have to plan a sneak attack. I mean, we've gotta put some plot to the plan, but soon the better gonna sneak attack on track. Let's make a plan to kill the king. So many, many options, options for us to choose. If, if we, we plan this right now together, we are unstoppable. Oh, 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 let's make a plan to kill the king. It's the best thing that we can do. If we manage to get this right, our lives will be filled with light. Our world will never. Watching, 
Look who saves Ahasuerus! Mordechai! Now even I'm confused, and I know what's going on. It's a sin cane describing how Mordechai overheard the guards plotting to kill the king when they were, went and went and told the palace. That saved both King Ahasuerus and Esther's lives. A sinkane? I suppose that's another type of poem? It's a five-line poem inspired by Japanese haiku. There are several different kinds, but I went traditional. You know, if you put as much effort into writing rap as you did writing these ridiculous poems, you'd have some pretty awesome raps. Except for the fact that I don't rap. You are probably correct. Anyway, the king is worried for his safety, so he calls in Esther to talk about an idea that he has to keep both of them safe. Your Excellency, sir, thanks for coming. Good to see you. How can I help you today? As you know, love, there was another attempt against my life last week at the front gate. There were guards who seemed to disregard our lives, so to speak. I think that we need some more security so we both feel safe and aren't sent into obscurity. Yikes. I had some ideas, a person in particular who would really know what to do. Who? Well? Your Excellency, you wanted to see me? Heyman, come in. Speak of the devil. Hello, Mr. Hello. As I was saying, I know the right person who's conniving and devout. Sir? I think you can help us out. Have I done something wrong, sir? On the contrary, I called you here because our odds are beyond scary. Your reputation precedes you, and I have to ask. Sir? Han, will you help us out with a certain task? Sir? There is danger, and you are a smart man of great renown. You need a director of security to clamp down on the constant threats to my, I mean, our lives. Director of security? There's no way. Excuse me, no way. Unless... I had some tangible symbol of your power, something to make the bad guys cower, something to wear that would show the world that I am in charge. Okay. Your ring, Your Excellency, I'd be living large. Sir, I'd be wary of this. I'm being honest, without a symbol of power, I can't do what's promised. The entirety of Shushan could explode unless I have your ring to lighten my load. So? Please don't give him that much power. I am begging you not that much power. Cause he's just kind of creepy and me too, me too, me too. I'm going to give him my ring. <sighs> Such a bad idea. You need all the help you can get. So here I am to take the lead of this dangerous request. This is so great. A bad idea. We need some spies on the inside. Criminals who might let things slide. I'll search far and wide to find all your allies. The rally the guys. Master the element of surprise. I feel some elation with this I will rise to the occasion of no assassination, sir. Here comes the And me. Here comes the Gesturing, gesticulation, ego, Haman. Okay, man. I am sorry, but I have got to step in here for a sec. Whatever that was, it was completely useless for narration, am I right? Did that help you guys at all? No. no. It was a diamante. An unrhymed seven line poem. The beginning and the ending lines are the shortest, with the lines in the middle are longer, giving diamante poems. A diamond shape. Okay, so for future usage, diamantes are much better if you can actually look at them versus just listening to them. You missed out on the whole shape thing and it did a really crummy job actually of narrating. So, could you please, please, pretty, pretty please, just let everybody know what's about to happen? You want me to rap, then not rap, then use poetry, then just use regular narration. Okay, for the record, 
The poetry thing was not my idea, or any of their ideas. That was all you, darling. And um, we've been asking you to rap the entire time. You are the one who's not rapping. Potato, potato. So Haman now has the king's ring of power, which essentially gives him the power to make people do whatever he wants. So, fun fact about Haman, he really hates Jewish people. He decides to go out into the city and use his power by making people bow down to him, especially the Jews. However, it doesn't quite go the way he expected. There is nothing like summer in Shushan. Someone with the power meets someone they can rag on. There's trouble in the air. You can smell it. And now the Jews are by themselves. I'll let them tell it. We hadn't fetched in a week. Our good fortune was known. You've never seen a bunch of Jews living life on our own. Minding our own business, living without strife, that's when Haman, our antagonist, came into our life. He said, I know you are Esther's uncle. I'm so sorry to bother you at home, but I got this ring on my finger and the blessings of the throne. He said, How to get this ring, you ask, lying, conniving, the king, you see. It kind of happened really fast. I just asked. And he gave it to me. And he said, you have a seat at the throne and that ring you owe. Yeah, that's mine, sir. We gave him all the looks and superficial praise, but when we turned away, he said, This one's mine, sir. Then we said, well, we should head back home. He turned red, let it go to his head. Now cue the dread and said, Bow. Nay. Bow. That's when he began to say, I'm telling you, bow down to this. Oh, you must bow down to this. I expect you to be helpless. Why aren't you saying hell yes? No. No, I said bow down to this. Let's go now, bow down to this. Don't they see I have this ring? Don't they honor anything? Hmm. They just say no, no. Bow down to this. No. So Haman goes home to tell his vicious wife about all of the things going on in his life. About Mordechai and the ring and all of his power, that there was no bowing which made him scour. Then Zeresh came up with a plan so evil, the Jews were scared and in an upheaval. <clears throat> you totally could wrap that. Now come on. If I knew how, probably. But as I have said, Many, 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 many times before I no don't rap. rap. I learned a lot in rabbinical school, but not that. Come on, Terry, this one's ours. the king on our side. It's really nice. It's really nice. We got the king on our side. Every action has an equal opposite reaction. Thanks to Mordecai, your corners fractured into factions. They don't bow down under duress. You get no traction. They won't bow down under duress. You get no satisfaction. Instead of everybody bowing down, I just get booze. They only bow down to their God, to you they just refuse. And they just can't, you have the 
bring it right there in plain view. I just can't understand the stubbornness of all the Jews. Mordecai is asking for someone to bring him to task. It's time to build some gallows now. Let him bring to our future ass. He thinks you speak for all the Jews. They have one God and stuff. Come on, Haman, grow up here. I've had enough. It's really nice. It's really nice. We've got the king on our side. It's really nice. It's really nice. We've got the king on our side. Now that we have a plan. Which I wrote. Let ink hasn't dried. It's really nice. It's really nice. We've got the king on our side. So Zeresh gave Haman an idea so terrible, so unbelievable, that Jews across the globe read about it every single year. Uh, yeah, it's part of the Purim story, and we read about it every year and do a Purim spiel every year, that's why we're here. Exactly! So, Haman went to see the king to ask him for an evil thing. He wanted all of the Jews gone, so he lied for what he wants, manipulating Ahasuerus. Jeez, Haman was really gross. Did you just sing that to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star instead of rapping it? <laughs> Haman goes to the king and tells him all the Jews are evil and don't follow his laws and such, so they should be gotten rid of. He even offers to pay to get rid of them. That's what this next song is about. You are really making this harder on yourself than you need to. <clears throat> There's a problem that plagues you, Sean, every day. I'm doing my best to keep the problem at bay. But it's a large group of people. I'm trying to keep them all in line. All they do is create problems. I have an idea that's mine. It's time we discriminate between the sinners and the saints. They take and they take and they take and then they cheat us anyway. It's time that we try to we'll break and we'll make some mistakes. And this is the reason I'm by your side. Besides keeping you alive, I'm willing to pay for it. I'm willing to pay for it. Telling me the Jews are dangerous creatures. That whatever you do, they manage to beat you. You want to get rid of them, and you're willing to foot the bill. It seems like a no brainer to me. I've had it, do what you will. It's time we discriminate between the sinners and the saints. They take and they take and they take and then they cheat us anyway. It's time that we try or we'll break or we'll make some mistakes. And this is the reason I'm by your side. Besides keeping you alive, I'm willing to pay for it. I'm willing to pay for it. Pay for it, pay for it, pay for it, pay for it. Give me the chance to help keep you alive. Those Jews, they show you no respect. They won't bow down to your reign, to your reign, to your reign. Since you're concerned about black attacks, just hear what the fact is. Listen now, I'm willing to pay for it. I'm willing to pay for it. Sure, sounds good to me. <laughs> Our king agrees to this terrible deed of killing the Jews. Alas, this is bad. Then he moves on with miraculous speed with not a worry for a woman or a lad. And off to his chambers our king does go, and he tries to sleep, but it doesn't work. 
So he spends the night tossing to and fro. He's so frustrated that he goes berserk. He calls in the men in aggravation to see if they have helpful ideas and can save him from this deep frustration. They suggest he has some sleep apnea. He says no and gives them an angry look. And then they suggest some read the book. Did you really just take the time and energy to actually write a proper sonic with iambic pentameter? I did! And I'm impressed that you figured that out! Peter did, remember? Oh, yes, now that you mention it, I do. You are really making this harder for yourself than you need to, you know? That is a matter of opinion. So, the king can't sleep. Let's hear what happens next. <clears throat> Sleep, sleep, I can't sleep, I can't sleep. The king can't sleep, he's tried everything, counting sheep forwards and backwards. So enough he says and calls in his jester to hear from the book of records. Let's take a listen. So there was this, there was this great collapse of the Babylonians and the Romans and there was a man who pulled the plot to kill the king. It, it was just a 
bop. Well, what about the narration? Don't you need to tell people what's going on? Oh, yeah, you're right. Mordechai is finally honored for saving the king's life from way back at the beginning of the spiel. Haman has to lead him all over Shushan, shouting, This is the man the king wants to honor! At the top of his lungs, Haman hated this so much, it made him hate the Jewish people even more. So Mordechai decided it was time to call in the big guns and ask Esther to ask the king to save the Jews, even though going to visit the king without an invite could result in death if the king doesn't raise his scepter. That's not even a kind of poetry. I mean, are you just calling it in now? No. No, it was a very abbreviated, not very good epic poem. What? Exactly. Exactly what? Yes. <laughs> Let's go to Mordechai and Esther. Esther, who is brave and strong and true, knows what she must do to save her crew. Go into the king in spite of her fear, asking him to lend an ear. So she can tell him that she's a Jew, don't, a Jew, don't judge her. You'd be scared too. You really think so? I was so nervous. Really, really good. Honestly, you thank you so much. You are welcome. 
Now, let's finish this all up and bring it home. Esther, go tell the king that you're Jewish. On it. <laughs> Your Highness, I have something very important to tell you. You do? I do. You do? Thank you. 